this season is such an exciting expansion on what season one was the with the pacing with this action with just everything but what were what were some of the biggest creative challenges for you both coming into this season uh in comparison to the first uh Meredith if, you, if you'd like start and then Carlton um you know I think for us uh they were exciting challenges to take on but you know being able to tell the story of uh, starting off, you know, Kinsey not knowing that her boyfriend is actually Dodge and trying to decide at what point and how she was gonna figure that out um, was, you know, one of the things that was, a, you know, a challenge for us, but I think is also one of the more exciting things for audiences as they're watching those first few episodes, kind of seeing the two of them in scenes together and wondering, you know, being worried for her and, figuring out how she's going to, how she's going to just, you know, figure out that her boyfriend is actually this, you know, ancient demon that's been terrorizing her family for a long time. Um, so that part was actually really fun, um, but it was a challenge for us. I would say, you know, the larger meta challenge was just making season two better than season one. I mean, that's as showrunners, what we were trying to do. And I think we feel like we accomplished that. We really love season two. And I think, Season one gave us a chance to really uh, discover who the characters were and then um, just kind of put everything in motion in a way that really amplifies everything in season two. And uh, you know, we're really, really excited for the audience to see it. We had to wait a long time because of the pandemic to get restarted, to shoot it, to get here to this point. And I know it's been, it's been a bit of a wait, but we really think it's gonna be worth it and that audiences are gonna really love season two. So the interesting thing about this show is how much it takes an original approach to the comics as well as taking a, a pretty faithful approach to a lot of its characters. What is that like for you both um, sort of trying to find that right balance between bringing your own ideas in the storytelling to taking from Joe and Gabriel's source material? Um, you know, I think for us, we're both big fans of the comic, and it's also been amazing to have Joe Hill is it, be so involved in our show um, and, you know, reading all the scripts, giving us feedback, but he also very much understands that we, it's, it's its own thing. Um, and that we decided that we wanted to tell a show that was a little more four quadrant that, uh, that, you know, parents could watch with their teenagers and younger kids, you know. Um, so in doing that, making the show more, you know, have a family, be a family drama and a horror show and have some YA elements and being able to combine all of that and not lean as much into the horror as as the comics do. That said, I think season two, we really are introducing a lot more of those horror elements, which has been really fun for us. I think that it is a more mature show than season than season one. But it's been great to have Joe and Gabriel be part of that journey the whole time and be so supportive of the fact that the show is its own thing. So with this season, since this is uh, going to a lot of new realms, this also really introduces, I mean, we see a lot more keys in this season, both in the, the making of them, but as well as the simple discovery of them. Um, how much would you say were original creations from yourselves versus the comics for the keys specifically? You know, it's a mix. We definitely love some of the keys in the comics and took uh, a lot of effort to kind of figure out how to put those in our version of the story. But then there was also, you know, we sat around in the room with all the writers and we all talked about like, well, what keys would we want to see in this house? What keys would we imagine? And we came up with some that we thought were really cool. And so we blended those in too. And um, I think I guess going back to your question a little bit, I would just say there isn't like a formula to it. It's just kind of an intuition. And I think that we, um, you know, our story is kind of naturally evolved in its own direction. And, and I think Meredith and I just kind of feel our way to sort of finding what's that balance between source material and original storytelling. And uh, I think we're really happy with the blend for season two. I think you get kind of the best of both worlds. So now that uh, season two is finally almost here, we also have season three already in the works. Um, can you give me any kind of update on where you're at in terms of the, the writing process and production? We actually just wrapped production on season three about a month ago. Oh, well, that's exciting. Yeah. yeah. 
I mean, we, we shot, shot this back to back. back to back. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, uh, so then was the, I know the writing had begun on season three ahead of season two. So was, were the ideas already starting to fall in place during the writing of season two for three? Uh, yes. Yeah. So we started the season three writer's room in June of 2020. Um, and we started production on season two uh, in September of 2020. So it was an interesting experience being having our season three writer's room as we were shooting season two. Um, we were, you know, a whole year ahead. Uh, but but yeah, so that's we, we just completed all of that. Can you give me any kind of tease as to what we can expect from season two because or season three? Because obviously season two ends with a few loose threads, but uh, can you give me anything of what we can see? I think the um, the imagery in the trailer of uh, Frederick Gideon, the uh, guy from back in the Revolutionary War would be a good tease. I think you might learn a lot more about him in season two. Well, I'm certainly excited to hear more because I, I love Kevin Durand. And so I, I think he's, uh, he's, he's going to be an interesting new addition to the season. What, what was that like finding him uh, for, for the casting of, of, his, of that part? I mean, I, this is the third show that I've done with Kevin. Um, you know, I, I first got to know him when he was in Lost. And then um, he was in The Strain for me and Guillermo del Toro. And uh, so to have... Kevin in our show is just great. I mean, he's he's not only an incredible actor, but he's truly one of the most wonderful human beings out there. And, uh, you know, someone that everybody on the crew and the cast adored. And um, even though he's playing a bad guy, he's very beloved. Um, and, you know, he's a cool character. You're, you know, you'll, you'll learn a lot about him across the next two seasons. Well, I certainly look forward to learning more about him. I look forward to spreading the word about season two and, and, eagerly await for when season three comes around. So thank you both so much for taking the time to chat. I really do appreciate it.